it wasn't an option for us to have a compromise. It, we, we needed to go fast and we needed to go fast for longer and, and longer than anyone else. Yeah. When I first saw this frame has released a new group set, I was just, whoa, how can that be better than the previous one? But when the first time I tried it outside in the forest, I was, that's just incredible. And I will like to do it better than frame. I'm Morten, I'm working for the R&D department as a technical developer. And for this transmission project, I have been the lead developer. When I got on this project, I was so happy to be on it because I like to ride mountain bike and I like uh, the rough terrain and the conditions out there. I'm the one who sitting and draw the drawings for the products and uh, I'm the one who's uh, 3D printing prototypes and stuff like that. And then I go over here in test lab and see how it will perform. The test lab here at Ceramic Speed is like we when we got an idea of something we want to develop we often just start with building a test machine so we can see how our competitors perform and we always want to do it better so uh, we just start with our thinking of doing it better and then we will see what happened yeah and we just continue that until we have something that's better and something we like one two three I'm Mike Garrigan. I'm the uh, off-road partnership manager. Um, in relation to the projects we're working on here, I'm bringing products to the field. Um, I'm helping bring in some information back to the lab. Yeah, I mean, lab to trail is just us being able to take lab data and bring that into the forest, into the field, onto the gravel roads into the mountains and and prove it and then bring that data back to the lab and then iterate so active debris remover is, or adr is the combination of the new patented uh, grooves that you see on the pulley wheel in combination with the seal and uh, it just keeps the whole first it keeps the bearing super clean but it just keeps everything running extremely fast for basically ever so if you want this efficient drivetrain, you have to have smooth running bearings. And if you put a, a, a contact seal on it, a double lip contact seal, it would not be uh, that good for friction. So we were thinking outside the box because we have something that rotates and we want to use that uh, rotation and force to make the bearing more clean. And then we start uh, looking at some yeah, other uh, remover stuff like a snowplow from uh, yeah, a tractor or something like that. And then we thought we could combine these two solutions and make these removal grooves in our ADR system. We're up here in the hills above Girona. We're doing some final prototype testing with the Buff Magamo team. The new OSPW for transmission has some exciting features that the Buff Magamo team's been using all season, and we'll see how it goes. Well, since Cape Epic this year, we've been testing the, the solid pulley wheel, and I'm really surprised by how it's working after so many brutal race days with all kinds of weather. While doing the Cape Epic, we have brutal weather, a lot of rain, and I also spoke with the mechanic closely, and. I'm also surprised by the durability from the products. Like we, we don't have to change so often the parts, even if we have brutal conditions. And with the solid pulley wheel, there are non problems. Like we have, I see around the peloton so many issues. And yeah, it's 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 a big a big game changer for me. We had the pulley, the solid pulley wheels one month before Cape Epic. We tested there, and uh, we stayed uh, on them uh, after because they uh, worked perfectly. And after six months. Uh, I did the maintenance one, and it works uh, like new one. The the way ADR performed at Cape, Cape Epic, kind of it confirmed what we knew we had seen in the lab, but it outperformed our expectations. And this was like the craziest Cape Epic ever. 2023 Cape Epic was just 
insane the conditions they were riding through you know hub deep mud and rivers and just constant abuse all week and the bearings were clean fully fully clean and it just was crazy so the the way that ADR has performed this season in field testing um, has really cemented it in my mind and and the mechanics that have worked with it as just like I don't want to say revolutionary, but it's certainly, it's done what we hoped it would do. Yeah, first, if, if we think about the Alpha Disc, so we think about the solid pulley wheel, certainly mountain bikers are really excited about it now because they want to have that confidence that if there's some small sticks or debris flying around, which there is, then they're going to limit the chances of a failure. For the Alpha Disc, we went to this uh, core of aluminum and we have done a lot of testing for the teeth profiling and a lot of different materials to, to see which one will last longest. And we have done it here in our test facilities. So we have tested a lot of materials to find the best one. We ended up with a composite material with some fiber in it to improve the stiffness of the teeth and increase the durability of the teeth. What was most important was to be faster for longer. So not just faster when you start Cape Epic, but faster at the end of Cape Epic or faster at the end of the season or faster every time you grab your bike and go for a ride. It's always going to be faster and, and it doesn't require, you know, any extra service. It's just fast for a long time. I just have a, a good feeling in my stomach, like I've improved a good system. Morocco, no, sir. It's off mic.